What is up guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a new money route that I have been doing in Red Dead Online. The previous money route that I did went from Blackwall all the way to Rhodes and it seems like you guys really enjoyed that. So I thought I would carry on doing these money routes to show you guys what I do with my methods to link them all together. So with this one we are starting off in Valentine just here. What you can do is go and spawn in either Saint Denis, Tumbleweed, anything like that and then fast travel to Valentine as always. That way you won't have people like this being in this in Valentine that could potentially grief you. But then once you get here what you want to do is go to this location right here or to this location right here. We're going to be heading to this one because somewhere around here there is actually some bison that we can go and kill to go and get as collect as meat to go and put in our satchel. So we're gonna go and head over there and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we have arrived in the first location and here, as you can see, just in front of me, there are four bison. Five, in fact, didn't see this one. And with this, all you wanna do is try and kill all of them. Now, I think as these ones have gone over the hill, they may have despawned. If not, that one's gonna despawn anyway. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna go and take this one, but if you was gonna go and do this, method for real definitely try and get as many bison as you can to go and kill what i use is my bolt action rifle and i try to go for headshots also i think i got the location a bit wrong i was a bit out i said on this path just here it's a bit more in it's just like right in the middle between the two locations and i've said oh wait i've said that it was either here or or over here, I knew the image of the bison goes and shows up here, but I wasn't sure which side it was on. It's actually right in the middle, just in front of it, just in this location right here. And all you need to do after that, if you go and get a load of bison, what I normally do is pick up the skin and uh, then just drop it, just drop it. As soon as you drop it, the only thing you're losing is the pelt. Everything else, all the meats, all of that stuff, the horn, is in your satchel and that's the stuff that gives you the good money uh, they don't actually go for a lot of money each item but what you will do is if you killed all five bison you can easily get 20 meat out of that which will then sell on for a decent amount of money the next location that you want to come to is just right around the corner these are all close together so once you get here uh, what you want to do is go to this location and here what can happen if it's daytime and it's getting kind of dark in fact no it's just cloudy uh what you can get is a lot of different types of birds they normally are just sort of laying there bathing in the water and what you need to do is go and get your varmint rifle out as i think that's a crow and i don't really care about that uh, but you can get a, di a load of different types of duck there's also bison here so if i was going to do this method for real i would definitely go and kill those go and skin them put it on my horse or go and collect the, collect the meats from my satchel and then drop the pelt because i don't really care about that if it was a perfect belt i would definitely put that on the back of my horse um but now we're in this location and as you can see there is birds flying over over there uh these sort of prone horn bucks i would definitely try and kill them if i was doing this method for real uh, but i just want to see if we can get some birds and there should be there's normally some ducks around this bit just here i think i scared them off already i feel like i scared them oh there they are so these this is a good location there's always different types of ducks that spawn in here and with these, you kill them with your varmint rifle. They should either be good or perfect. And then you just go and pluck them. You just go and pull their feathers. And then that's that. You don't really need to care about them. You can go and put them on the side of your horse if you know they go for a lot. I believe these types of birds here, they only go for, I think, 45 cents, maybe 65, somewhere around there. Nothing too amazing. So I'm not going to go and pick them up. I just want to go and get their feathers, store them in my satchel, and then that's it i don't really care about them their, their bodies can just lay there i'm gonna carry on trying to find different birds in this location like i said when you're traveling doing these types of routes what i normally do is i try to kill everything everything i see just like the previous route that i showed from blackwall all the way to valentine sorry from blackwall all the way to Rhodes. Uh, I just I just killed everything everything I saw I just killed and if you saw the clip at the end of that video And I'll leave a link in the description down below to that route But I left a clip at the end of that video of me selling everything and we sold I think like a hundred and thirty dollars worth hundred and twenty dollars It was really good and I've seen some more uh, pro hong bucks over there I would definitely try and kill those as well as a bird was flying across for this location. We're done. We're done for this one just for now 
uh, and we're gonna go to this location and as you can see there is already someone there so I'm gonna probably go and quickly change lobby just to show you the show you the method quickly and without someone being there uh, but he's probably there from looking at my previous method the fact that you can go there with no one else being there no one having any problems whatsoever you can just be there quietly and you can fish so I'm gonna go and quickly change lobby and I'll be back in the new location okay so this is the location that you want to come to and as soon as we walked in there are a bunch of different fish spawning there is also a bird right in the middle I would normally go and kill that so we're gonna go and take that bird there's also another one coming right at me we're gonna go and kill that one but this is the location that you would use to go fishing I'm not gonna go and do any fishing I just wanted to show you this location I have done methods on all three of these already so this was the last method that I did on this channel I showed you this location and that was probably why there was someone already there so I did have to go and change lobby but you can tell that there are a lot of of fish in here already. The types of fish that you can get are rock bass, pickerel, bluegill, and also perch. No big fish, nothing like smallmouth bass, largemouth bass. You get no sort of like sturgeons, anything like these are just a small fish. All, all fish go for $1 apart from bluegill. Bluegill go for 75 cents. Because there's so many fish in here, normally you can get a full satchel of pickerel or a rock bass or the perch so that would be easy money there getting you at least ten dollars which is good for some strange reason i cannot pick up this bird it should I'll, I'll pick it up it won't let me skin it now it will let me skin it i think it should let me skin it now okay so that's good uh, so i'm just gonna go and take these birds i just wanted to show you the location of uh of these different methods this is the route that you can use the bison the first location give you bison that will should give you around about 10 to 15 dollars which is pretty decent the next location is where you'll be getting a lot of different birds and that is probably where you're going to be making the most of your money and then this final location just here this is where you'll go and get all the fish this is where you can make a lot of money if you really wanted to and this is a money route but you could try and chuck a stick of dynamite in once you get all the fish to group together to try and get some xp but as this is a money route we're not going to be going to do that i might go and stay here for like maybe one or two minutes just so i can get a bit of fishing done so i can get a few fish so that when we go back to valentine i can show you what types of animals that you'll be getting and how much they'll be selling for okay so we are back in valentine and this is just to show you what type of stuff that we will be getting whilst doing this route so this isn't me doing it for real this is me quickly going to each location showing you a quick overview of the methods and then coming back here to show you what type of stuff that you'll be getting so we'll be getting duck feathers that isn't obvious you'll be getting that in the second location animal fat i think that would be from the bison i may be wrong bird meats that second location the same any feathers anything to do with birds that will be the second location prime beef joint that is from one bison one bison and i believe it was poor uh, correct me if i'm wrong but i believe it was poor and we managed to go and get five meats out of that you'll easily be able to go and get 20 prime beef joints which will go for a decent amount of money there so that will be very good the next up game meat um that you, you're, you're going to be getting that you're going to be getting that every time you go and kill birds you'll be getting that then all the fish in fact not the bison horn because that's from the bison all the fish and i think the goose feathers that was actually from the other location flight feathers they don't really go for too much you'll be getting those easily you'll easily get 10 of those and these are the types of fish that you'll be getting in the last location so perch rock bass chain pickerel and also there's bluegill and i say it every time bluegill is the cheapest but weirdly enough it is the rarest i i don't know how that works out it is the cheapest and for that i would have thought that would be the one that goes for you know it's it's there more but it isn't it's just not the case the rock bass the perch and also the chain pickerel those are the most expensive fish that you're going to get in that pond area and those are the ones that you'll be getting the most so if you go and spend say 10 minutes there you should easily be able to go and get a full satchel of at least one of these maybe not all three but in fact probably not all three i do not think there's 30 fish there but i do believe that you can go and get yourself a good amount of money and a full satchel of one of these types of fish which would definitely go for a decent amount of money this whole route in total uh, i would probably spend about 30 to 40 minutes in there it's probably around about 10 minutes traveling uh, the rest is 10 minutes in each location trying to get as much money as possible 
as I'm traveling there and traveling back, if I see anything, any bird, any other animal, deer carcasses, anything like that, I will go and kill them, put them on the back of my horse, and then bring it back to the butchers. And here, hopefully, you'll be able to go and make yourself about $100 at least, just like the other location. But anyway, guys, that is the route that I'm currently using for this week in Red Dead Online. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.